Okay, um, focus up. Hi, this is um, Nick Lebretz. It is Wednesday, the 8th of July. Okay, <laughs> so you have the date right. Um, I've actually flubbed the date a couple of times. Um, location is the coffee bar at 12th and S Street um, Northwest. And um, I decided to do today's video log outside. I also decided to do it earlier in the day. Actually, let me leave these on because keep my hair, put these on my head. Uh, I've got a few straggling hairs. Anyway, so um, it is. Yeah, it's noon, so perfect timing. Um, yeah, um, I wanted to do today's video log earlier because um, I, I, I'm dra dragging them out. And, I mean, they're supposed to be short. And just a quick recap. Um, hung out with a friend last night um, uh, and helped him with the project he's working on. Um, he, he tried to put together a grand unified field theory. Um, not not quite Einstein, but um, close. So, um, and, and I, I'm a sounding board, um, and lost some of the video. Um, I didn't hit the right, didn't hit the record button. So, so we lost a lot of that last night. Um, and let's see. Um, yeah, I wanted to do, get the brakes looked at today on the car, but um, I, I called ahead to the shop and they said they're all full. So. Um, after this video log, I'm going to uh, call a moving company and um, I, I, I'm going to work on getting everything out of storage today. Today. Now. Done. Finished. Finito. And, and that, that way, um, that'll give me tonight, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that'll give me five days to unpack. Um, I, I, I have a friend that's going to help me sort on Friday. Um, so, so yeah, I want everything in its proper you know, a proper thing for everything, and everything in its proper place. So that that needs to happen. Um, what else? I'm, I'm feeling really good about the move. Um, yeah, yeah, this this is literally the nicest place I, I've had um, in well well over a dozen years um, since the nineties. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's e either I've been a roommate or either a roommate or, or I, I stay with girlfriends and um, so, so I haven't had a place of my own name they basically let's see um, yeah um, this would be um, May 2001 was the last time I had a place um, at 3551 um, my landlord was Casey Ross total scumbag um, he had he, he had a little McMansion where um, right right on the Atherton Redwood City border, Charles Schwab was one of my neighbors. But um, what this guy would do is um, he'd, he'd have us all sign 18 month leases, and um, the, ha the house was very antiseptic, right? And, and, and he he he, he, petition he cordoned it off into these tiny, crappy little, little rooms. And um, what, what he would do is um, he's what Carlos Castaneda calls a petty tyrant. Um, you walk in and you're not aware of it at first, but but the place is like a rehab, um, you know, and you gotta you gotta watch yourself around this guy. And he was petty. Um, you left you, you left a spoon in the sink. He chitter chatter about it. He was constantly you know just just death by a thousand paper cuts. Um, really annoying little fucker. And um, but what what he do is people would come in and they blow out after three months. Um, so you're talking six people. Thank you, skateboarder. Yeah, you're talking six people, all, all, all leaving a $1,500 a month security deposit. So 15 times six, right? Do the math, and that, that's $9,000, right? So um, he, 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 he created such a hostile environment, people would pop out of there every three months. So 9,000 times four, right? N nice steady little income stream. What a scumbag. So, um, yeah, my place is nothing like that. Um, I walked in, let, 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 let him know was rolling the joint, went to the tobacco like I do. Um, he, I don't even know my landlord's last name, right? I, I mean, we, we, we did a handshake deal. Um, and, and again, I'm very, very happy. Uh, I'm in a non-gentrified neighborhood. The line of gentrification in my hood, does, yeah, there is no gentrification in my hood. I'm in Upper Northwest. 
and, and the gentrification line is r right at Georgia, New Hampshire. And, and after that, it's all school Washington. And I'm very, very happy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are no houses there, there are homes. And their families have been planted there for generations. And um, beats the hell out of uh, what, what, what's happened here. Okay. Um, I, I live, I live right, right up the street for a year and a half. Um, benefactors bought, 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 bought a house outright. And I was her guest for a year and a half. So, um, and uh, th thank God the relationship ended between us when it did because um, I can't see going through, through, through my cancer treatment um, while living under her roof. Um, I, I would have been her little pet, little cause celebrity, and um, und undoubtedly I would have drank all through treatment. No, there was no doubt in my mind. Had, had I been living with the benefactors, um, yeah, yeah, and, and, and drinking and radiation and chemotherapy probably do not mix, right? You think, right? I'm <laughs> just saying. Anyway, um, so I'm getting settled back in, and um, I'm going to cut this off. This is Nick Labrest. Um, uh, location is the coffee bar in 12th and S Northwest. It's um, about seven minutes after 12 on the 8th of July. It's a Wednesday. And I'm going to sign off now, and um, I love you all, but now is ciao, so ciao for now. Okay. Bye, everybody. Tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Bye.